Hello, my name is Bo Warner. I've been with Windmarine for over 12 years now. Here we will discuss the x 48 provided by ABB Upstream Oil & Gas, along with some other additions we've done to provide a field solution for oil and gas field production and measurement. Here you can see the x 48 by 48 You have an HMI cover. Within this HMI cover, we provide a 15-inch Bayer HMI. This houses roughly 15,000 tags being pulled from the unit inside. It allows the operator on site to operate and control while viewing everything that's happening on location while they are there. When the customer is not there, they will use their chosen SCADA in order to do the same functionality. Within the cabinet, you'll notice it's a double door unit and no center brace, allowing the on site technicians to easily obtain any wiring, troubleshooting, and anything they need to do while in the cabinet. It also makes it a lot easier on our fab shop to bring the components in. What we have here is the ABB RMC 100. This is the 720 megahertz version. It is also offered in a 300 megahertz. Within the cabinet, we have motion sensing lights for when the technicians are out at night working. We have fused power distribution throughout the cabinet. We also have 20 TFIO modules. This current unit, including the TFIO and onboard, will house up to 161 points of I.O. Whether those are P.I.s, D.I.s, D.O.s, A.I.s, or A.O.s. There is a different combination for each. Everything here is wired and tested for connectivity. We label everything, heat shrink it, and also create drawings to provide those. This unit itself has 10 serial expansions via Ethernet. This is due to the fact the unit has two software selectable serial COM cards we use this to expand for the additional multivariables, Coriolis meters, burner management systems, and anything else that may have serial communications on location. This current unit here is actually configured for 40 wells through the software. Now everybody's well selection may be a little different depending on how many AGAs, APIs, plungers, shutdowns, trending, etc. Uh, different multitude of applications that are available from the ABB total flow unit. What you'll find is this one operates 40 wells, and it has 48 AGAs, 30 APIs, and 40 plungers, along with 41 shutdown systems and a multitude of different operations or alarm systems. This current unit runs water transfers, buyback systems, tank loadouts, etc. Really, there is no limitation on what we can provide with the ABB Total Flow solution. Here with the 161 I.O. points, this is not a limitation of the total flow. Our limitation becomes where we can handle the 22 TFIO modules per bus. With there being two, that's 44 modules, giving us 365 points of hardwired I.O. Now if we run into the need where we need more I.O., at that point we'd use a remote I.O. solution provided by ABB or another manufacturer according to customer specifications. Everything is wired and factory tested. We provide an Ethernet switch, manage or unmanage. Additionally, there are some radios for wireless tanks, wireless well heads, and auxiliary equipment. Additionally, we have, as our customer specified, is the ESD panel. Through this ESD panel, we house basically one input and 36 outputs. This allows the customer to direct wire into their shutdown system, providing the safety that is required by them. The unit can provide us a run permissive as well as we provide a run permissive Meaning that this system, if it gets an alarm, it will tell the total flow it needs to shut down and it'll shut down. It will also notify SCADA at that time. Additionally, the total flow can provide the shutdown of something through the software alarms. And then it will send the shutdown to those devices as well. We also provide a GFCI outlet on the enclosure. The device is wired locally through the AC from the contractor on location. On the back side here, what we'll find is the Sense MicroCab 1500 unit. This unit here is locally manufactured here in Colorado. This is where we'll do our AC to DC conversion along with 210 amp hour batteries to provide the power while the uh, AC may be out. They do allow for an expansion that will also store two more batteries. There's a multitude of things you can do through the part number creation of the Sense unit. Uh, additional loads, uh, Ethernet communications, 
We also have the breakers for the charging battery and AC circuits here. Out in the field, the customer will come up and wire the AC into this unit. Once AC is provided, we flip the battery and the fuse on the other side and the total flow and all the end devices that are running off of 24 volts DC are now powered up. This allows us to have a small window of autonomy with this type of panel. AC is pretty stable, but in the chance that the unit does have to run on batteries, this is just a fail-safe feature that makes sure everything gets shut off in a timely manner before we totally lose power. Getting back to the total flow and the power that is housed in the X-Core and RMC itself. With the power of the RMC 100 in the X-Core platform, we have the ability to operate up to 254 applications varying anywhere from maybe 60 plungers or 100 plungers. Maybe you have 100 AGAs and 100 API applications. The limitation is really the 254 mark, not necessarily what type of applications you're using. We do not have a processor or memory limitation issue, it's just the application slots where your limitation is housed. Each unit is designed and specified to the customer's specifications. We do look to provide a full solution, not just sell you the product and say, here you go. The unit is actually programmed and tested here in our location so that when the customer gets on site they land all their end devices in the outer skirts of the terminal blocks and the programming just requires individual well naming and site specific details that we don't have at the time of build. Really what it's done allowing this template style and this fabricated unit is saving on time and money. Maybe a 20 well site may take two individuals one full week, so we're looking at roughly 100 man hours. In this system, we've reduced that to approximately 20 man hours on site because all the leg work is done in a controlled environment like here in our fabrication shop. So at the end of the day, the customer saves money, they have a quicker solution that they get up and running a lot faster than they have in the past. Additionally, everything is tested to where we know it works and how it works. If there is an issue, we can establish it, fix it here with all of our available products and expertise.